the most important part of the project approval form is what is called the research plan or project summary. The research plan gives details on the rationale, the research question, methodology, risks involved, and other details of how the experiment is going to be performed. It is no wonder that this is also the portion that is most scrutinized. It is important to note that this handout is not a form. Instead, it gives you instructions on how to compose a research plan. This is going to be a free-flowing composition that must be typed. The research plan contains at least four basic elements. The first element is called the rationale for the project. This is actually something new this year that hasn't been asked in the past. It used to be that the student just needed to identify a research question or an engineering goal and state a hypothesis or expected outcome and do the rest. This year, the students are expected to establish the relevance of the study by doing some background research on the problem. Once the research problem is identified based on the background information, a research question is proposed and some hypothesis stated. If it were an engineering project, maybe an engineering goal is more relevant and the expected outcomes are stated. Next, the student will identify a step-by-step -step detailed procedure of how to implement the experiment and ultimately gather the data that is required. He or she will then identify all the risks and safety uh, procedures that needs to be taken care of when performing the experiment. Lastly, the student will also identify and specify how the data will be analyzed. The most important thing to remember in the research methods and conclusions portion is that the student needs to provide as much detail as possible when it comes to the procedure. The student cannot just specify general statements for procedure. Instead, the student has to specify specific amounts if they're mixing uh, two substances, for instance. The last part of a research plan involves stating your bibliography or your sources. There should be at least five major references for each and every research plan. Major references refers to scientific journals, books, some internet sites. Now, it is important to note that students are fond of stating Wikipedia as a source of, uh, as a reference. Uh, you have to take note that Wikipedia is not a major reference source, but there are bibliography in Wikipedia that you can actually consult and if you look at those then they can become your major references if uh, they are relevant to your study. Search engines like Google or Yahoo are not major references. Instead they are search engines. They're not research engines so please take note of that one. All bibliographic references should be stated in a consistent format like MLA format. For internet sites, it's important to include in your bibliographic reference when you accessed the website and what was the web address for the website itself. You cannot have all five major references as internet sites. Instead, some of your references should be from books or science journals. For projects involving vertebrae animals, one of the references must be a for animal care. In addition to the elements that are required for all projects, there are certain elements that are required depending on the subject matter for the research. For instance, if you are doing research involving human participants, vertebrae animals, potentially hazardous biological agents, or hazardous chemicals, activities, and devices, then you will be required to provide additional information. Please make sure that you read 1 to 4 
for any of these that apply to your particular project. As a final note, this instruction sheet should not be included in the final project approval form that you are going to be submitting to your teacher. Furthermore, make sure that you have your name and your project title at the top of your research plan.